One of the things that people have been asking me after they've watched my lighting series, which is at thelightingseries.com for guys that don't know, is how do I mount my gels onto my lights? Because I'm getting into using gels to correct color cast or using gels for effect. Um, so I'm going to show you guys what I do. This is one quarter CTB. CTB is color temperature blue. So this is tungsten correction gel. So it just basically changes yellow light to a more blue light or more natural light. You know, if you have tungsten bulbs, they look quite warm. You can use this. A quarter refers to how much light it's cutting out. If it's cutting out a full stop, it would be one stop CTB. And this is cutting out just a quarter of a stop. So now they come in these sheets. I get mine from the set shop. Must not be confused with anything else. SET shop in New York. And you can go in and buy them. This is Lee 203. This is one quarter CTB. Um, but I actually prefer to use one quarter, sorry, one eighth CTB because that gives me, you know, I can double up one eighth CTB gel to make a quarter um, thickness. Or I could quadruple one eighth CTB gel to get a half a stop of blue gel. But that gets a little bit too much. I'm about the subtlety. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you why we do this later. I'm going to cut this into a strip. That's about five, it doesn't have to be perfect, five and three quarter inches. Let's see on that side. And I'll match that on that side. I'm gonna cut one piece into a strip. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect. I'm just gonna do it by hand and I'm by no means accurate here. So now I have a strip like this. I'm gonna also get some tape ready. And then another piece, so now I have the rest of this sheet here. Another piece I can just cut, um, I'm just gonna cut a square. Let's make that a little bigger, like this. And if you cut two five and three quarter pieces, which is what this is roughly, I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. There, and then I can make this into a square, which I'll do, let's see, I should have about 10 three quarter inches. So I'll go to about the same size over here. And then this is actually going to give me two squares. So you get two squares, two strips out of a standard sheet, which is perfect. And on the squares, I'm going to cut into one of the corners through the middle, just like that on both of these. And then I'll show you how I mount those in my lights and why I've cut them this way. This is a small Fotex soft lighter or any reverse mounted umbrella that you that has a tube like this. The head is gonna go on like this. This is also applicable for alien bees. They all have a mount kind of like this. So the light goes in like that. It's better if you have a dish on it like this does. And then I'm gonna show you why the, I cut the I'm going to have my assistant hand me some tape in little strips. I'm going to show you why, thank you, Hunter, why I cut this square piece of tape, thank you, because the hole, the slit, is so it can pass on either side of the, of the stick there, if you can see that, and with the extension. And then as I put this here, this, I taped the two ends together where it's over where it went through the slit, and I'll take another piece of tape. Thank you, and then I can just tape that onto the back of the light, and on the other side too. It doesn't have to be too pretty, and maybe just one more. So I'll tape this here, and voila, the front of this. If I take this off, let me unscrew this. The front of this is now gonna have the blue gel, obviously you can do this with any gel, completely covering the front of that dish. And, there we go, and there's space for that stick to stick through. So that's how I do it for a reverse mounted umbrella and this will work also for pro photo heads as long as you have that dish on there. So this is the 150 centimeter deep dish Rotolux by Ellen Chrome. And this one's reverse mounted. So I've left the head in here. 
So I can show you how that, um, you know, that's mounted into the back here. I show this also in the one light video in the lighting series. I'm gonna take that off so you guys can see more clearly what's happening here. So I've got my five and three quarter inch strip and I've labeled quarter inch, uh, quarter CTB on here to avoid confusion. So I know what the gel is later on. So I'm gonna grab a piece of tape and just wrap this around here. Very simple, and it covers the entire area of this, and it overlaps for about four inches. That's not gonna give me any trouble. Like, it's gonna go a tiny, maybe one, you know, 30th of a percent more um, blue than it should be, but this is fine. You know, you just want all the light that's coming out of that head when it's mounted reverse, inverse in here to be blue. So that's all you do. You can double this up, You, but this is pretty simple. So you just get that one long strip, you wrap it around there. So that's the two modifier types I use. I use the inverse umbrella. So you would use that dish on your, so if you have an alien bee or something, make sure you have a dish so that your gels aren't touching. You don't want them to be touching the bulb part because they're gonna melt or, and it's gonna like explode all over you. You don't want that. So, um, and then I use these Ellen Chrome Deep Dish Rotoluxes and I have them reverse mounted um, if you buy the large ones, they come with the reverse mount anyway. And I might also put a link down below to an equipment list where you can buy this exact modifier or the medium one, the one smaller that's also reverse mounted. But that's how I mount gels, super simple. And you can cut four of these two square ones and two strip ones from one sheet of, um, of gel. Thanks so much for watching. Please do subscribe, it does help me make more of these videos. I like kind of breaking down my process and showing other photographers how I'm doing things. Feel free to comment. I love hearing what you guys think, any questions you have or anything I could answer and explain more. If you go out and use some of these tips, please do let me know. I love hearing that kind of thing and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.